Bacterial meningitis or meningococcal disease. As many of you know, the CDC has issued a health advisory alert for healthcare providers to have a heightened awareness and to be on the lookout for meningococcal disease. This creator here is being very vulnerable in sharing her story with us, so I want us to take a quick listen to her story and spread awareness about meningococcal disease. It's also important to note that there are vaccinations to help prevent this illness. They are given at the ages of between ages 11 and 12, and then also a booster at 16. There's another type of vaccine that you can get between the ages of 16 to 18. So make sure you talk to your pediatrician and your healthcare providers about the vaccines for meningococcal disease. There are a lot of questions as to why I am a quadruple amputee. So the backstory is I contracted bacterial meningitis when I was 19 years old in 2005. I was a freshman in college and I had flu-like symptoms, which you wouldn't think were too serious, but they progressed. I started having purple spots on my body, which is why I have these scars. It was leading to all my organs shutting down. So they had to put me in a coma, which I was told about seven weeks. And that was when they had to treat all of my organs while I was under. I have no memory of that. So when I woke up, I had a trach, which is why I have the scar on my throat and I could not speak. My hands and feet were also wrapped up because going into septic shock, I had lost the circulation in my extremities. So when I woke up, my family slowly educated me on what had happened and I didn't realize how much time had gone by. So I was very focused on moving forward and getting out of the hospital. I spent several weeks recovering from three big surgeries, which were all of my amputations because of the loss of circulation. So I first had my right leg below the knee and a left partial foot. And my second surgery was both my arms below the elbow. And my third surgery was a left below knee. So my legs were then even, and it could speed up my recovery as far as getting fit for a prosthetic. I was transferred to inpatient rehab where I spent six weeks with occupational therapy and physical therapy. And that is where I learned all of my self care. I had to get my strength back. Even sitting up was very difficult to do. So after six weeks, I did get discharged home, took a year off of school. So getting discharged in September of 2005, I went back to school almost a year later in August of 2006. I switched my major from math high school teacher to kinesiology with the plans of going to OT school. The good news is bacterial meningitis is a vaccine preventable disease. I just did not know about the vaccine. So if you are in high school or in college, this is really something that you should get. I would hate for anyone else to be in a similar situation as I am, because if it doesn't take your life, you could be left with lifelong disability, brain injury, or just a whole slew of things. So that is the reason why I am a quadruple amputee and now an occupational therapist.